Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to permanently enable or disable Windows Defender on your Windows 10 computer. So I've made a tutorial of this nature in the past and it appears with new updates that have been released for the Windows 10 operating system that the registry modification that I was showing in the video is not working for everybody. So in this video, I wanted to do a brief update to that video if the first one was unable to turn on or turn off Windows Defender for you. And there's been a, quite a few changes to Windows Defender in the Windows 10 operating system since I made that video about two years ago. As you can see, Windows Defender is now Windows Defender Security Center, so same name, kind of. And it definitely has a different appearance, and under the hood it's definitely changed quite a bit as well. So I just want to put that out there. They've kind of combined Action Center and Windows Defender into this Windows Security Center kind of interface so they've definitely made quite a few changes over the months and years. So in the description of the video I'm going to have a couple commands pasted in. So the first one would be to disable real-time protection and the second one would be to enable real-time protection and in order to make this work you're going to have to head to the star menu and type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should say Windows PowerShell right above desktop app. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator and if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now, in order to disable real-time protection, I'm just going to copy this one line. And again, it will be in the description of the video, right underneath disable real-time protection. You want to copy that line. And now up at the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window, you want to right-click, left-click on edit, and then left-click on paste. And then once you've done that, it should be pretty good to go. It should run automatically. And if we open up Windows Defender Security Center. You can see that just by opening it up, we can see it's updated to say virus and threat protection is turned off. And you have the option to turn on, but you can see that we have turned it off through the Windows PowerShell view. And in order to enable real-time protection, just copy it out of the notepad file, go up to the top bar here, left click at it, and then go back paste. And then by turning that to the false position, this should re-enable Windows Defender. So accidentally closed out of it so I'm going to have to reopen it here and give it a second and you can see that virus and threat protection has been turned on so very easy nice little tip to know and I do hope that this brief video was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye